Hey guys, we are back with some new Atlas, and uh, it's been a little while since the last episode. In the end of the last episode, we actually died, and I got- I didn't actually get my stuff back, but I got geared up again, and I have crafted everything- I thought he was gonna try and shoot at me. I've crafted everything that I need to make myself my very first raft. So this is obviously not a boat, it's just a raft, and let's go ahead and craft that up. So how's this gonna work? Name your raft. Oh, our raft is like over there, sweet. Uh. I don't know what to call it, so I'm just gonna call it Raft for now. Rafty Raft. Here we go, that's fine for now. So there we go, let's see. I've got a couple things for the raft. We can add to it. I have a bed, and I have a storage box, and I have a couple campfires because I keep breaking them. Like, I break them on purpose, obviously. Uh, maybe let's not, yeah, let's put it like right here maybe. And then for our storage box, we can put that uh, maybe like close to the front, maybe like over here. Cool. Uh, now, do I need to add a, a pin code to this? All right. <laughs> I mean, like if somebody gets my stuff, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to show any of this on camera, so I'm just going to go four sixes. Although I guess I could, I can type it in with my keyboard, can't I? Ooh, I can. I actually don't know what I just added to it. There we go. Okay, I have a new one. Amazing. Uh, so yeah, I can type it in my keyboard. That's pretty good. So we've got our bed. We've got our storage box. I think we're good to go. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive if I leave here. So we're going to see. Um, we're going to take probably a little bit of wood here and maybe cook up some more meat. Actually, you know what? Let's just wait for our meat to spoil up or eat it all or whatever. And then we can start cooking some new meat. So let me actually add some stuff into my storage box because... Oh, it holds weight. Interesting. Eight kilograms? Seriously? That's like nothing. Okay, no. Okay, I thought I had like a weight inventory instead. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's just add all this like, heavy stuff into it. Um, I can hold onto some bits, but we'll put like half of that in. Half of that in. Half half and then all this freaking coal all right sweet so let's yeah, let's go ahead and just set sail how do i start this then um okay here we go amazing oh my god we're going very fast oh no 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 oh no 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 fully close sail oh god we're gonna crash into the land i don't want that i've never sailed before properly so I don't know how to do it let's see uh, let's go this way <laughs> I nearly like crashed into the beach over there oh man amazing all right fully open okay there we go okay uh, no 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna break my raft <laughs> oh crap all right let's see all right uh I'm gonna need to like pretty much turn this boat around. That was really dumb of me just going straight out like that. Let's see. Can I, uh, all right, 10%, that's good. Might be able to go over these rocks here. If not, I'm gonna be screwed. Let's see. Okay. We're learning the ropes, sort of, kind of. Let's just wait for this whole thing to turn. And uh, then we can we can figure out where we want to go. Maybe over there. I, don't, I have no clue. Like, because most of the land is probably already claimed up, which is another issue with playing on official. Because I believe right now that there's like a, some flag spamming. The flags claim land, and people have already like claimed pretty much all of the land. That's obviously outside of these free ports. So let's see. Okay, so I want to rotate the sail. To about there, and then we can open it up a little bit more and gain some more speed. So the wind is represented by this arrow here. That's why we like flew straight out like that. That's why we went so fast because we were going at full speed with the wind and everything. So it was just terrible. So let's see. Let's sail over there. So I want to open up the sail fully, and want to rotate. A little bit more. Okay, so we've got to line this this line up with uh, the arrow, and that would mean that we're going 
directly with the wind. All right, uh, we're almost fully lined up, but that's good. Uh, okay. Let's go like that. Wait, let's get the zero do anything. All right, there we go. Cool. So we're fully lined up. We're going as fast as possible and it's amazing. <laughs> Look at me sailing. By the way, guys, don't forget to hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this. Um, I really, I'm really excited to see what's on this island. <laughs> so while we're doing that, let's, um, let's see, let's cook up a little bit of meat. Just a little bit, not much. I love how you can move around so easily on the raft as well, like, because in Ark, when you're moving around on raft, it's, it's a little bit scary because sometimes you can, like, glitch straight off, but this seems to be good. I believe if I was to jump, it might also keep me, but I don't want to attempt it just in case there's some weird latency or whatever and uh, kind of get screwed up. I'm kind of curious, actually. Does coal uh, do anything for the fire? It probably wouldn't, would it? I don't think so. All right, well, we kind of wasted a piece of wood by doing that. I got to make sure that I'm collecting lots and lots of wood. Oh, man. Look at us. We're sailing. It's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Holy crap. Yeah, so we're at, we're probably, like, roughly, like, halfway there, I'd say. I think so. This chest is a really nice model. I'm kind of curious, though. Like, I wonder if sharks and whatnot attack you. I can't see anything under there. I wonder if they'll be able to like keep up with the boat. That would be terrifying. If there's like a shark fin following you, that would be really, really scary. Especially the fact that the sharks in this game are like terrifying. They're hammerhead sharks and they have like really like massive bodies and the model is like really nice and well done. Let's see. By the way, uh vitamin D, I figured it out, I'm not sure if I mentioned the last video, but vitamin D is uh fish meat. Probably some all, some other stuff as well, but for now, all I know is uh, you gotta kill some fish. My raft has leveled up, amazing. How do I, oh, there we go. Additional weight, okay. How much is my weight currently at? 900, I, could, I feel like I don't need that right now. Um, add more beds. Let's make it a little bit more sturdy. Nice, so the rafts pretty much act as like tames in this game, so. That's that's really interesting, actually. Holy crap, we're uh, we're still a great distance away. I wonder, is this another freeport? I hope it's not. <laughs> I don't want to go to a freeport. I hope it's not. See, because like you can sail for hours here, and like you might miss all of the islands unless you're actually watching out. I'm kind of curious how, like, how much distance there is there between like these two islands and the next one because I can't see anything else like there's nothing else here for me but there's tons of islands around me I just can't see them It'd be kind of funny if if you went in like a specific path that you were out of render distance for like other islands we have another one over there now but like you just don't see them at all so you're just sailing for hours and you just don't see anything that'd be really funny oh man look at this thing it's actually pretty pretty cool looking I like the little mini rafts I like the way that they have the little board at the back um, where it just writes the name. It's pretty cool. Nice. All right. So in terms of uh, everything else, we've leveled up our skills a little bit. So we've got uh, this one here. So now we can make storage boxes and some other stuff. And uh, we leveled up into the bows. So we have these two right now. Our next ones involve kind of like fire arrows and stuff like that. Um, and then you can get like a skill for uh, being like for using a bow, throwing knives. Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff here. Pistols are further down. Yeah. So I feel like I need to be leveling up into. Uh. Yeah. I need to level this way, to get down to the pistols. Cause nothing else leads to that. Alrighty. Oh, what is this? Oh, we're getting kind of close, actually. I should be watching this. Hopefully, this is not another free port. I think it might be, though. I really hope it's not. So, we should probably uh, turn down our sail at some point here. Can you only... You can only do from the front, right? Yeah. Repair ship. What do I need to repair it? What the hell? Seriously? It already got damaged? All right. All right. Well, we gotta... We gotta... Close this down a little bit. 
<laughs> All right. So what is this over here? Somebody's raft. And then there's something like on its side or something over there. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what that is over there. It could be a raft overturned or something. Interesting. All right, well, let's get to the island anyway. We can probably, uh, you know what, actually, I should probably try to turn my raft around slightly. So let's start rotating already, just so in case we need to get out of here, we can do that then. Just a little bit. We don't have to fully turn it. Maybe turn it back a little bit more. Okay. Well, let's turn it now. And we can close the sail a little bit more. And then, you know what, this is probably fine because I should have enough space to be able to do a turn right there. Alrighty, so what do I need? Um, go ahead and pick up any meats. So I want to go ashore here and I want to collect up wood. And uh, I'm not sure if I need the rotten meat at all. I want to collect up wood and different things like that. What do I need to repair this? Okay, as long as I keep some of that stuff on me, I should be okay. I'm gonna put the spears away because I can only have a spears or the bow on my hotbar and I'd rather have the bow. Let's put some of that away. Let's put this away. Fish oil, why not? Uh, yeah, let's let's go ashore here. Alright, so new island. Let's check the FPS actually. By the way, don't worry about all these commands. This was in the this is an official server, so this was obviously in that other server that I was playing on. Yeah, this is looking good. Looking good with the FPS. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and just gather up some stuff. We can probably explore a little bit as well. But I want to try and just gather a little bit of wood and some stuff like that because I'm going to need this to cook up some meat. For sure, want to leave this island with a decent amount of that. But I also got to make sure I have enough to repair my tools. So in terms of all of our uh, food stats, kind of getting low on the B, so we want to eat maybe two of these. Now I've noticed that you can't really like, you can't go ahead and just add a bunch of things in. Like you gotta pace yourself with the food. Let's get rid of that FPS counter. You gotta pace yourself with the food. Of course, you don't wanna like overeat and uh, get indigestion, which is actually a thing in the game, which is kind of cool. So you can't just spam food. So let's, I think now we're okay because we're not digesting anything. Let's go ahead and eat a couple of these. Poppies give uh, vitamin A. Gotta wait for our stam to come back. While we're doing that, we might as well just go gather some of this. All right, a little bit of fiber. We've already got a decent amount of this, but more cut and hurt, so. Got rafty raft. All righty. So we're doing good on stam now. We can go ahead and hit this up. I need to also try and see if I can find some water. Now there, there's a couple spots where you can get water. I didn't show it off on the main island, like the free ports, but you can get water by, oh, I need stone crap. By going to, um, there's like a little kind of pillar thing. It's that thing that we saw in the last episode when I was dying. That's where the water is. So you can get water there and uh, probably some other spots. So I need to find something like that here to be able to uh, fill up my water. Let's go ahead and just get a little bit of stone as well while we're here. I'm not getting anything. Does this just not work or something? What the hell's happening? I feel like I should be getting some stuff, but okay. Are we getting like weird latency? My ping is still kind of high. All right, yeah, this rock just seems to be impossible to break. I don't know, that's weird. Hit up all these. Okay. Oh my god, I, I can hear the cat at the door. <laughs> I might need to go handle that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, <laughs> my girlfriend Heather has gone back to Canada for a month and uh, 
obviously the cat and the dog are here, so <laughs> they they want me now. They're constantly in need of of some syntax. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get back to our raft and drop off some of the stuff. So one thing that I need to be finding here is metal. I haven't got very much of it. I really haven't. I need a huge amount of it. Oh, this is, well, this is metal, too. Oh, wait, no, that's just flint. Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need, I need just metal. And I need, like, 20, I think. Uh, oh, here it is, actually. So I need 20 metal in total and then 125 stone, which is manageable. I can get the stone. That's fine. Let's go ahead and just grab out anything that's super light in here. Super light. Uh... What else? This is heavy, obviously. Let's drop that in. And we can keep this. That's okay. I can hang on to that as well. That's not too heavy. Okay. Let's drop the thatch in, just because. And, you know, we'll drop in some fiber. Anything that can stack up, it should be fine. Uh, this is a different type of fiber. Oh, no, that's not. That was fleece. Never mind. Oh, my God. It's so confusing. All right, let's see. Um, should be okay to go. I have lots of food. I should be able to journey further into the island. Let's go ahead and actually just add this meat to the fire. And we can manage that when we get back. Don't need to be messing around with that right now. And just because I'll, I'll, drop, I'll just chuck that in right there. So we have a pretty clear inventory. Lots and lots of uh, weight to work with here. So I want to be looking for metal, and I don't know what the nodes look like, but I assume you can just get them off of rocks. But it seems to be pretty rare, so... I'd prefer to try and find a metal node, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that so easily, so... But I feel like also looking around a little bit to try and learn the game a little bit more would be nice. So yeah, let's journey through this island a little bit. Um, okay, I'm going to need to remember how to get back to my stuff, so... Uh, 23 minus 12, with 23.17 minus 12.69. I mean, I can look back at the video footage if I need to. So, these dudes are here. Nothing in their inventory. Um, so yeah, let's like journey through here a little bit and just see if we can find anything. Uh, we also need some fresh water, so need to find that. Hmm, what's this over here? What is this? It's like coral? Oh wait, no, it's honey. Oh no, it's sap. What do you use to collect this? I don't know what's best, but I'm using my hatchet and it seems pretty good. We're very hot right now, so we should take off our clothes. We're still really hot. I feel like we can't, we can't get away from that. <laughs> I don't understand. Let's go ahead and uh, harvest up some more of this. Cool, so we found some sap. Is that edible? No. Oh wow, it weighs a lot as well. Interesting. Um, Alrighty, well we should just look around a little bit. Maybe I can bring you guys back if I find something cool. Like, this is a very large island, so I don't really want to be like... Trying to show off the whole thing. Is that music? It's music. <laughs> Alrighty. Hmm, interesting. I figured out how you drink. You gotta lay down, so hit X, go prone, and then you gotta like look into the ground and then okay, so that right there doesn't work. <laughs> uh what's greener grounds then? Maybe I did it over here, so let's try it again. No. Okay, so I've already drank from that area. Let's try over here. Okay, water depleted. Apparently I just drank all the water. Oh my god, I wish I could show this off. <laughs> Alright, let's maybe over here. So why are you kidding me? Did I drink like how the hell did I drink all of the water? Alright, well maybe I could find another spot. But yeah, I was getting really low on water there and then I figured it out. Okay, it's working. So you gotta hit this little kind of white bar. So it's a little bit of a mini game, and you see this quite a lot in the game. Uh, can I fill up my uh, 
water skin from this? No. So I can keep drinking from it. It creates a little water spout, and then you can drink from it, which is kind of cool, actually. It's a it's a unique way of getting water in the game. I thought that we might have to like find a little uh, reservoir or something. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, but those little mini games where you gotta like you know hit the timing right. That's quite a lot of the game. Um, I believe it might have something. It might. The part about like repairing your ship, I'm pretty sure it might be like that, but I'm 100% sure that when you're reloading weapons like guns, uh, if you actually hit those little bars, play the little mini game essentially, I believe it will um, make it go quicker. So it's kind of cool, useful stuff at least. Um, and it's, it's a little bit better than just, I guess, just reloading normally because like obviously that stuff takes time. So if you harness a skill and you get better at hitting the timing, then uh, you're going to be better at reloading and more efficient and whatnot. So, kind of cool. It's, uh, it's a nice little addition, I suppose. Hopefully it's not going to get annoying at any point, but uh, for now I'm, I'm enjoying the fact that it's there. So let's go ahead and just repair this. I haven't really found uh, anything, like, in terms of metal. I actually don't even have any additional metal since I last talked. But, um, oh, that right there, that's, that's probably where we can find some water. Nice. Let's go over there and check that out. But yeah, I haven't found any metal at all, which really sucks, so I think the way to do it is just keep hitting rocks, so I might have to do that for like 10 hours, because I've been playing for a while now, and I've only got 4 metals so far, and I need 20, and I probably need some to make the stuff as well. Oh, we got metal from this. Interesting, maybe this is like a specific rock. Hmm, I don't know. So we got 5 pieces now. I believe we just got 1 there, right? Yeah. Wow, it's also quite heavy. I don't know what's better for the metal. Is it the hatchet or the pick? Because in arc, it's the pick. But I don't think I've gotten it with the pick yet. I, I feel like I haven't. But yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure. Also, this island is identical to that other one that we were on. Which makes sense, because the free ports are actually supposed to look the exact same. So there's no like benefit in one free port to the other. But still, it's kind of strange. I might need to head back to the boat soon, because I do need to cook up some fish. I got, I killed a fish and uh, I need to cook him up. Let me see. Is there anything in any of these? I could take his coal. <laughs> Might as well. I mean, like, this stuff is just going to be robbed by somebody else, right? We're pirates, right? We're supposed to take things. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's get down here. We're by the coast, so I think I, oh, here, look, we got another little thing. Oh, more coal. I don't know what coal is useful for. Um, but I assume it's for something. Maybe it's for making all like, gunpowder. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see. We don't really take much fall damage in this game, which is nice. Fall damage is are in arc is like the worst. It's a constant. Uh, it's a constant annoyance. <laughs> let's see. Chili seeds. Nice. This is where you get the chili. So we can gather a little bit of this stuff. We don't really need it, but just gather some of it. Can use that to fill up on our vitamin A. Yeah, I don't know what uh, how to get the metal, so let's just hit some of these rocks. These look kind of similar to those ones from before. I'll hit that one with a hatchet, and I'll hit this one here with a pick. I don't know. I haven't gotten a piece of metal with a pick yet, so it might be different in this game. Something that we have to consider. Like, all the rocks kind of look very similar. Some of them are, like, different shades and stuff, but they just seem to give the exact same thing, so it's really misleading and confusing. But I'm definitely going to need a lot of metal for our little workbench and also for the things that we're going to make with the workbench. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can see if we can find some metal in somebody's uh, boat, because there's lots of boats around here. I believe, is that our boat over there? I think our boat's further, further up this way. I don't think I came this close to the um, weird rock thingy. Nice. Thank you for all of the coal. Don't know if I need it, but it's nice to have it. <laughs> There's another campfire here. There are so many campfires. It's ridiculous. This person's been nearby like recently enough. So, gotta make sure that I'm not getting caught like robbing from from people because somebody might not be too happy about that and they might try to kill me. Here's some salt, I do believe. Let's see. Yeah, see, hatchet seems like maybe it was better on that. I'm not sure. 
The salt is uh, useful, probably for some form of cooking. Maybe I can make like advanced recipes that, you know, preserve the meat more. I imagine you could do that. Let's see. Um, to be honest, I probably should be crafting up several water skins because I don't think the water depletes on it. So I should probably do that and maybe head back to that spot before we leave the island. I say that now, but I'm definitely going to forget about it. Uh, maybe these river rocks are better for metal. I don't know. I think that's our boat over there. Yeah, I don't know. This is like... I'm gonna try the hatchet, just out of curiosity. Because I do need stone, so... And before I get like 20 metal, like immediately. I don't think we've gotten any so far. All right, cool. So we should probably just head over to the boat. Hey, I got a level, amazing. All right. Leveling in this game is so slow. <laughs> I think this is a free port right now, so I'm not actually gonna level up uh, past level eight here. It's kind of interesting. Their way of stopping people from just camping at these spots is to cap off the level. Uh, oh, there's a raft. The cap off the levels in these noob areas and uh, kind of force you to leave if you want to progress in the game, which is good. I think it's a really nice, really nice idea because I think everybody's concern coming into this game was what's to stop people who are like, you know, really advanced, they have really good weapons, you know, their stats are all up, they have food to heal when they do get hurt. What's to stop those people from just camping beside the noob area and then just, you know, going at them whenever they spawn, you know, because I assume XP is a thing from killing people. So, yeah, that's like, that was my concern, but uh, they definitely handled it quite well, and I really shouldn't have gotten into the water without Stan, and now I need to head back because I don't think I can get onto the boat. Oh, crap. <laughs> I should have been watching that. This is going to be a close one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Kick your legs, do it. Kick your legs. You fool. <laughs> All right, we did it, amazing. Let's just gain stamina and look at our our level. So I feel like a little bit of fortitude would be nice. We have scissors now, so we should be able to style our hair in a certain way eventually. I don't know if you get that immediately. Be cool though. I need dreadlocks, I need to look like Syntac. Uh, we needed to go down this way to get to firearms, so you know what actually no Let me have a look around here just a little bit and make sure that there's nothing else that I need Okay Interesting mm, Oh repair skill cool, so that's like obviously to do with uh, Yeah decreases the, dif the difficulty of uh of hitting so yeah when you're repairing you do that same little mini game that's that's cool I like that that's that's nice uh, I don't know what I should be learning here maybe let's just go for the head towards the guns we're almost there a couple more what is this A sapper cool what is that in the water that's making that noise I have no clue all right, let's get onto our raft and drop off some of our crap. So we have lots of coal from from people's boxes. We have one metal. It's terrible. Uh, oh, cool. We can plant these. Nice. Does that that doesn't give anything when I eat that? No. Does that fill up my food at all? I'm curious. The food's pretty much empty now. So let's see. No, doesn't doesn't do anything. Uh, okay, so I do need to be cooking up this fish meat and most of it's spoiled So let's add this in here And I really don't know what the rotten meats for but I can I can't chuck it in there. Let's take this out then Let me see so sap is obviously Gonna be useful for making ships because it I'll, like I guess it helps stick the uh, the planks together <laughs> Uh, salt, I have some of that already, nice. I like the way that the uh, resources stack up to 500 actually, it's really cool. Uh, we're starving, so let's see. Let's eat some of these. 
Bring that up. Eat some parsley. Bring the other one up. We need a fish meat now. All right, we need to eat two of these probably, so. Cool, so. Oh, I can't see. There's like a little number there, but I can't read it too well. I think it says 30. It might be 30, I'm not sure. All right, so there's really nothing else I could do at the moment. I just need the metal, so I think I'm gonna have to just grind out to try and get that, but for now, that's probably gonna be it. Um, I the, the very start of the game is a little bit grindy, so bear with me. We'll get to the stage where we have that little bench, but I'm obviously gonna need to go around this island and just keep gathering up and, and trying to get uh, get those other 15 pieces of metal. And then there's more that I'll probably have to do after that, so yeah. A little bit grindy, a little bit grindy, but it's okay. If you guys have enjoyed this video though, go ahead and hit the like button. It really does help me out. I do appreciate it. And uh, if you want to see more, you can of course subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.